Hello everybody, I am going to show you how you use overlay on Pixel Planet. That way you can get all your templates and images on Pixel Planet and it can allow you to basically pixel in any creation that you want in Pixel Planet much more easily and more planned out. So, how are we going to do this? Well, first off, you should join Slovakia PPF, the Discord server. Um, because we have a link and a tutorial on how to basically install Temper Monkey, the overlay attachment for Temper Monkey, and how to use it, right? So, first things first, what you want to do once you do join and become a member, you basically want to come in here and go into the Art Templates and Tutorial category. And then scroll down and click on the tutorials channel. Now here, as you can see, there's a website, you know, link to the actual website where you can download overlay pictures, right? The attachment for the application of Temper Monkey on your internet browser. So quickly click on that and it will bring you here. Now it looks overwhelming, but don't worry. I'm going to help you navigate through it. So once you get here, what you quickly want to do is click down on this readme.md right you click on that and it'll bring you to this right and it basically gives you a step-by-step -step instruction on how to install temper monkey and different add-ons to it like the overlay picture for pixelplanet.fun so if you don't have temper monkey you want to click on this link that will direct you to tempermonkey.net and you have the option of installing two types of Temper Monkey. Temper Monkey Stable, which I don't know exactly what it is, but I'm assuming it's a more stable, you know, version of Temper Monkey that won't be prone to crashes and bugs and glitches that often compared to Temper Monkey Beta, which I assume is more of like the newest snapshot or model or version of Temper Monkey, but it's still probably in an experimental phase. So there could be... You know, it could be more prone to crashes, bugs, and glitches like that. Uh, either way, you can pick whichever you want. I uh, personally choose the Temper Monkey Stable, so there's not that much crashes and whatnot, right? So you can install that. And once you're done with that, um, you will essentially have it right here if you use Google Chrome. I don't know about other Internet browsers like, you know, Internet Explorer, or I guess it's Microsoft Edge now, Firefox, Opera, and all this stuff. But at least in Google Chrome, you will have it here or somewhere here. If not, you got to find a way to put it there. And, you know, you can use this, but it will only mainly work on websites that you have add-ons on. So, for example, for overlay, it won't work on this website. So once you have that downloaded, just go back to here, essentially. And then what you can do, you can click on this link to get the attachment of overlay pictures for PPF on your Temper Monkey application. So you click here and it will bring you to this. I already have it installed, but usually if you don't have it installed, Right here, you can click the, click the install button. But for me, since I already have it installed, you see reinstall here. Basically, you install this. Everything should work out. And you will have it as an add-on to your uh, Temper Monkey application. Okay? So once you have that, essentially what you can do, and you see it even tells you, just click install and enjoy. So right here, you'll see some images on how overlay basically works. You get a little window up here in the corner. And, you know, you can essentially... Put in files of whatever picture you want to put on Pixel Planet using the overlay attachment and then the coordinates of where you want that picture on the map of whatever canvas you're using on Pixel Planet, right? And you can see stuff like that. You can change the transparency of it to make it easier to pixel in on Pixel Planet, all this stuff. And here's a short video of how it works, as you can see. Now, I will tell you this is a little bit outdated, at least this video. They have updated to where the interface window right here is a bit different, and I will show you that really quickly once you have it all installed. Once you do have Temper Monkey installed and the overlay admin, you can go to Pixel Planet. And so let me just close this quickly. First off, you will see Temper Monkey attachment right here. And you can click on it. You can turn it off or turn it on. I'm just going to display it to you how it works. Let me quickly refresh. So yes, right now I have it turned off, but in our case, we want to turn on. So I'm going to enable it. Now I have it enabled. You have to give it a second for scripts to come in, um, aka your attachments like overlay. So we'll give that a second, right? Probably click out, try to refresh it. And here we go. 
there's a bot you can also use. I don't recommend that, but that's a story for another day. So we have the pixelplanet.fun picture overlay. I have it on right now, but I can disable it, which you know will refresh the website and everything, or I could turn it on, which we want in our case. So I'll turn that on. There we go. So as you can see, you have this little user interface window here, which you can do a variety of things, right? First things first, you want to click on this little like paperclip icon that essentially allows you to put any file image that you want into the overlay attachment, right? So in our case, since, you know, I'm from the Slovakian PPS server, we're going to use the Slovakian template, right? So let me quickly go with that. So if you go back to our server on Discord, you can go to, again, the category Art, Templates, and Tutorials, and you can click on the Templates channel. There we go. Now, you can come here and use the FIA bot, which I'll explain in another video someday, right? But essentially, you use uh, the slash, and you can most likely scroll down here until you find the FIA bot, or in my case, I already have it, but the command you want to use is essentially differ, right? That'll give you statistical data about whatever template that is in the server, right? So you use that, and you can click on it. And in our case, we have the Slovakian template, so you can choose the Slovakian option. And you press Enter. You wait for uh, the FIA bot to do its thing. Oh, looks like it's telling me I have to wait a little bit. I don't know why, maybe it was used too much, so we'll see about that in a second or two. Uh, it said 9.4 seconds, so let me just wait a little bit to make sure it doesn't tell me to wait again. Let's see if it works. Okay, there we go. All right, here we go. Um, again, oh, sorry. I will explain how this all works in another video, but for in this video, in our case, what we would really want to know and do is essentially get the template, right? So you have the template right here. Great. Now you can click on it to, you know, maximize it and get a bigger, better shot of it, right? And what you want to do really quickly is to save the image, right? And once you save the image, what you can do, well, first off, you probably want to organize it somewhere within your files to make sure you know where to locate it, right? I mean, if you save the image, you can save it wherever you want, maybe your desktop, maybe a special folder like Discord or something for it, right? Whatever the case may be. Just have it in your computer and it'll help you a lot, right? Once you have the image save, the file of the image of whatever template you want, you can go back into Pixel Planet and come here to this interface for overlay. You want to click on the paper clip icon and you have two options, right? You can either use a URL of the image you want to put into Pixel Planet. So I don't know. Let's say you find, I don't know, Pixel Cat Art. And you like this, for example. Come on, work with me, computer. So you got this, for example, and, you know, essentially you can go and get it, copy the URL or whatever. Well, I guess this is through a paywall, so this wouldn't really work, but you get the idea. You find an image you want, get the URL, you can put it in here, and I guess it works the same way. I never tried it yet. I wouldn't recommend it because usually if you have a template, um, if you're in the, you know, European factions with all the nations, you make templates for warfare and building up your nation. So that's a story for another day, right? So essentially, you just want to go and get whatever template that you can or that you make and try to pull it up yourself, right? So you click here. Wait, let me go back. You click here into the drag and drop images or click to select file. So yeah, there's two ways you could do this. You can either come in here, click on this, it essentially opens up all the files in your computer and you can go around and try to find, you know, the image that you want to use as a template, right? That's one way you can do it. Or another way you can do the same thing by clicking the paperclip icon, open up your own files here really quickly, locating whatever template you want to use. And essentially just drag and drop it in here. And it works the same way. But the issue is, is that usually it's not where it is where you want it to be, right? And as you can just see, it takes a while to load and to scale it up. So it was really tiny. 
of course, is not supposed to be that small. It's supposed to be larger, but it needed a second or two until it updated itself and scale itself, right? Okay, so once we have that, it converted itself. Now, here's the thing. I already have the coordinates for this template, right? So let me quickly do this. I already figured out the coordinates of this. Ignore that. I, it was an experiment of something with our allies, but I guess people want something else. They don't want that design, so we got to do something else. But anyway, you know, a lot of times it's not going to come out how you want it to be. You know, it's going to be off-center to some extent or something, right? So what you can do is that you can go here and change the X and Y coordinates. Now, for this template, I have to write it down, and usually whatever server you have, if, you know, they know how to make and, you know, display templates properly, they will, someone would have already got the coordinates for you and put it down, and you could just copy and paste it, right? But if they don't, or you're the one who's making all the templates and whatnot, you got to figure it out on yourself and do some trial and error, right? So what are mine? So these are my coordinates for the X and Y values. Put it in here, and it puts it in here. Now, another thing you could do is a transparency. Transparency helps so you can get an idea where things should be and what has already been pixeled in, right? So obviously, like this big cross, the double cross of Slovakia, which is Slovakia. We did not sell it from Hungary. That is all propaganda that Hungarians do. It was our Hungarianization, right? Anyway, that's history. We don't care about history. We care about pixels. <laughs> If you're a pixel warrior on pixel planet, right? So yeah, this helps a lot. So for example, right, you can't really see what already been pixel here. You just see the template. And you know, I can waste time just trying to pixel things. Obviously, no cooldown is popping up, so that's assuming something's been pixel here already. Or I could turn down the transparency to some extent and get a better idea of what has or hasn't been pixeled. And I can pixel in, right? Or what I really like and what's really helpful, and it really helps with centering stuff and knowing where to put pixels, is I like to use small pixels. Now, it takes a while for it to load, so be patient with it if this happens. You just have to wait a while. Sometimes it takes a long time, especially if there's a lot of people on the server, or it happens pretty quick, like right now, right? So what this does, it creates all the pixels from your template and puts it into a small pixel where you get these little tiny little cubes inside each pixel. And as you can see, as you hover uh, a color that doesn't correspond to a color that it should be, the little pixel pop up. But if you put a color that should be there, the little pixel goes away because it blends in with the color. And I find this to be much easier, right? And also, if you're a really good Pixel Planet template maker, you know what colors to use based off this... Um, little color wheel palette that is available on Pixel Planet. But if you don't and you use something from the internet, like this, for example, you know, sometimes the colors may not correspond or correlate to the colors that's on the palette. So what you can do if that's the case, you can convert the colors to make sure they match with the color palette on Pixel uh, Planet. And you can do also auto color which can fill in colors for you and all that good stuff, right? And then, you, of course, you can change the brightness and everything. So, yeah, that's basically how you use overlay. That's how you... In, oh, there we go. That's how you use overlay. Um, that's how you install it and temper monkey and all stuff. So I hope it helps a lot of people because there's been some confusion on my server or maybe some people are just lazy and don't want to download it. But hopefully this video helps a lot, um, makes it easier for you, explains a lot of things, and you can, you know, download templates of whatever art you want to do and put it on Pixel Planet. It'll be much easier and faster for you, right? Because it's always good to have a plan, to have things planned out and just things make things simpler instead of, you know, in the past, what I would do, I would like go between tabs, see what it is, try my best to lay it out. Or, you know, do like a split screen or whatever. But, you know, that's not really efficient. It's a headache. It takes time. And this, this is just way better. So, yeah. Hope that explains a lot of things. Please check out our Discord. Help Slovakia to build Slovakia because we've been bullied by the Hungarians for a long time. But Ukraine helped us to get liberated. And, yeah, you can help us and become a Slovak warrior. All right, we'll see you later, guys. Oh, wait, before I go off, 
let me just quickly yeah just type in slovakia ppf should show up on discord or where is it Or you can use this link right here to join us. We have a lot of members. We have fun. We try to do events, usually really with uh, Pixel Planet or other art events, right? And uh, yeah, we try to have fun. We have nice channels, you know, Slovakians, also Czech, since we're really close with them. Our allies, Council of Leader. We have some fun stuff here, like counting. A lot of people like this for some reason. Share some mean talks about politics. We can add more channels for like sports and whatnot. Um, other gaming stuff, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't have to be just about Pixel Planet, right? But yeah, anyway, that's, uh, you know, shameless plug right there. But yeah, join us and, you know, um, it can help with uh, learning how to install Temper Monkey and Overlay and all that good stuff. Well, see you guys in the next video.